Shalom, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today, I want to share the message I received recently. During this week, I don't know if this is just a coincidence or not. I keep hearing the thunder song titled London Bridge is Falling Down. This is not usual because almost every day on my daily activities at home, the song appeared at unusual coincidence and it caught my attention because I ever shared about this song on my channel here and I know what this song is about. But in my heart, I still think maybe it's just a coincidence and I ignore it I, I, and I don't really pay attention to it. But yesterday mon morning, when I was praying at about 8 a.m. in the morning in my room, there was my little niece, a baby about one and a half years old, and my mom at the living room and the toddler song was on the TV as usual. At a time of prayer, I usually pray for some nations in the world and some other things that God puts in my heart. And on that morning exactly when I started praying for America, that London Bridge song also started on television. After that, I continue my prayers for some other things and then I arrive at the prayers against the Antichrist spirits and their agendas. And exactly as I would start praying about it, that song started again. So this song appeared two times exactly at the starting time of prayer for America and the Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, I feel this is not just something coincidence. Only God can do that exact coincidence. This is not something I can make or think to do. That's the first message I received this week. And the second message I feel led to share here. Last night, I was at the living room with my mom. I was feeding my hamsters and my mom was watching TV. My focus was on the hamsters and I didn't think anything about rapture or end times, just doing usual activities. On TV, my mom was watching YouTube. There was an event like some kind of celebration by the leading bank in our country. I didn't look at the TV screen at all because I wasn't interested and honestly I rarely watch TV since long time ago except the news and it's just for some minutes a day. At that time my eyes were only on the hamsters and their food but I could hear the sound on the television clearly. When I was there I heard the presenter introduce the guest star on the show. He said this guest is a woman who has made several albums and is famous in Malaysia and Singapore and her achievements are amazing. Tonight she will perform seven songs in this event, he said. Then he called the guest star's name. All the guests applauded and the guest star appeared. At that time I just wanted to see the face of this guest star. There was a little bit wonder and curiosity in my heart. In my imagination, I thought I would see a lady appear on the stage singing. Then I turned my attention from the hamsters and I wanted to just look at the TV screen for a while. And I was very surprised by the view I saw at that time. I saw on the TV screen the image of a carriage shaped like a big white crown and the guest star was inside the crown. She wore a golden color dress like a princess and was very beautiful. I saw the view when a crown shaped carriage with a guest star in it was moving down from above, so it seemed like it was floating from the air down right onto the stage. When I saw that view, I was reminded to the bride of Christ and the crown was reminded me to the vision. I saw some weeks ago, I saw the very big crown flying in the air. The shape is almost like that. I feel this view I saw on that TV screen represents the rapture and the bride of Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the scripture that came to my mind when I ponder about these two messages are Revelation 18 and Revelation 19. The London Bridge is Falling Down song is very symbolic. This song is very famous and I'm sure majority of us know this song. In my spirit, this song represents the falling of the Babylon, or with other words, Babylon is falling down. I heard this song when I pray for America and against the Antichrist spirit. I feel maybe 
This refers to America and the Antichrist spirit agenda in their governments and societies such as LGBTQ, abortion, satanic worship, and so on. Babylon refers to the spirit of pride and rebellion against God. Maybe America is one of the examples of the modern-day mod Babylon, but I also believe that there are still many true believers of Christ or God's people there that hold on to the truth and don't follow or bow down to the Antichrist spirit. I feel Babylon is not only referred to one country, but it's more like the worldly system that makes us worship idols, money, wealth, power, pride, and rebellion to God, or feel we don't need God and have no fear of God. This is also talking about the false church or Christians as well, just in for money and power and then persecuting others and calling it holy service. Let us read brothers and sisters from Revelation 18. We will read some verses only here, brothers and sisters can read more detail later. Lament over fallen Babylon. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling for demons and a hunt for every impure spirit, a hunt for every unclean bird, a hunt for every unclean and detestable animal. For all nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. And then from verse 20, Rejoice over her, you heavens. Rejoice, you people of God. Rejoice, apostles and prophets, for God has judged her with the judgment she imposed on you. And then the second message, I saw the view like the princess inside the carriage, shaped like a big white crown. I feel it represents rapture and the bride of Christ. If Revelation 18 and 19 is arranged in the chronological order, then after the falling of Babylon, rapture will take place, like what is written in Revelation 19. I feel maybe we will see the falling of the worldly system or Babylon first before rapture, or it will happen at the same time. I don't know, I just saying. Please take it to the Lord in prayers. Only God knows the day and the hour. Brothers and sisters, with all things going on in the world, especially war in Ukraine, and also tension in Israel recently, maybe we can know that we are heading to that, brothers and sisters. We don't know much, how much time left. We can just pray for God's mercy and prepare ourselves. So we are ready when Jesus comes. That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.